This is Alan Weinkrantz. I'm now in Houston, Texas with my pal Cami watson Hoitza, who moved to Houston from San Antonio and we met in San Antonio, worked on a project together in San Antonio on one of my own clients and I'm a big fan of yours, Cami. Tell me a little bit about kind of where you've been, particularly starting off in, you know, with PR, now doing some social media, uh, but I kind of know you from the beginning as being a very prolific and very popular blogger. Let's talk about some of the kind of where you've been and where you see some of the trends going. Well, thank you for coming, Alan. It's really great to see you. I'm glad you came to Houston to see me. I miss my San Antonio friends all the time. Um, well, yeah, in 2005, I started the blog, Communication Overtone, as a way to learn about social media, because really at the time it was, a, it was a fledgling thing, and mostly it was blogging at that time, right? We all had blogs, and we were trying to find our way around that. Um, but what I did, I found out really quickly, is that the, the principles that surround social media, which basically are that two-way communication model, were something that I could bring into my public relations practice, and I was very excited about that at the time. Over the years, though, um, it's really evolved, uh, and now social media, I mean, you can call, they, they really are a set of tools for people to communicate with each other, and if you're a public relations practitioner out there or a marketing person, it behooves you to know about them, and I think most people feel that way now, uh, and it's really moved from a set of tools to a set of strategies. Um, and I think that's, that's really important to point out is that right now people really expect companies to interact with them where they are, where, wherever they are. So if you have a set of stakeholders, whether it be internal, external, customers, whatever, uh, your customers are out there and they're wanting to have a conversation with you about what they think and what they want from you. Um, and these tools really make that possible. That, that's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, so talk about strategy. How do you help a company think through a strategy to use these tools? Well, first of all, what I like to do is sit down with a client and really find out um, find out what they're trying to accomplish. What are their objectives? Uh, and then I also want to talk about the other side of the coin, which is the stakeholder and what do they need and what do they want and where do those two um, interests uh, overlap. And I kind of call that the sweet spot of social media, um, where you find you know, exactly what um, both the hooks the company and the stakeholders and try to provide something in that area. So, if, you know, today, as I said, it's well beyond blogging. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have um, Clerk, we have, I mean, we can go on, right, Frenzy. So, people at companies, rightfully, are very confused. Like, where should we start? Where should we go? Um, what's, what's the holy grail? And the truth is, the holy grail is really about your customer and your stakeholder and what they need. Um, and that's where I start with, with my clients. We sit down, we talk about that, we hash that out, and then we decide what kind of resources they have to put to bear towards this. Um, because it does take resources, this is not... Right. Many of the medium, the medium itself is free, right? Many of the, the tools are free to use, but certainly the time that you have to put in, um, the kinds of things that you have to do, it's not. So as we talk about strategy, we also look at the resources internally to the company and, and what, they can, what they can commit to over time. So, uh, because that's important in social media. If you're going to form a relationship with someone, like, you know, our, our relationship forged over cups of coffee at the Olmos Pharmacy in San Antonio, um, you have to spend time with people. So, uh, that's what we do. So you need the equivalent, if you will, of a community manager, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, yes, and you can call it that, or you can call it your PR department, uh, somebody in your PR department, or it could be somebody internal to your company that's just very excited about these uh, tools and this way of communicating with people. Okay. You also talked about social media fatigue, <laughs> something I feel every now and then. Describe what you <laughs> mean by it. Every day, yeah, really. <laughs> um, well... Because there are so many tools and there are so many places that you can interact with people online, LinkedIn, I mean, we keep going on, right? Um, it can feel a little bit overwhelming sometimes, and I do think that the people that are most involved in social media feel the most fatigued because there's still a large number of people out there that don't participate in all of these tools at once. So um, what I do think is over the next couple of years, as mergers happen, of course, with the economy being what it is, um, I think we'll continue to see these merged companies. So a lot of companies right now are buying other companies, and these services are, are merging or going away. Okay. Um, so I think over time what will happen is that this will become less of 
uh, you know, it'll become more of an emailish type of tool. If you, if you know what I mean? It'll be more yeah. ubiquitous like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how do people find you on the internet? Oh, you can you can find me at my uh, agency, which is myprpro.com. Right. Or you can do a search for communication overtones on Google, or just my name, which is K K A M I, last name H U Y S E, and you'll find me easily. And there's also Cami Chat. Cami Chat, yeah, that's that's my Twitter ID. That's your Twitter ID. Okay, very good. Well, thanks for your time today. Thanks.